Hey everybody, this is Rob Smith of The Body Project, and today on the Pyramid for Optimal Physical Performance, what I want to talk about is balance. So, if we look at balance, and we come over here, I've written down a couple of different things. So, we have physical balance, mental balance, emotional balance. So, I met with a, a client last week, and one of the things we found out is she had a pretty significant uh, functional leg length differential. And what that means is one leg was actually longer, meaning the other leg was shorter. So when we have certain muscles that get tight, they'll actually hike the hip up and then them making that leg functionally shorter. And so you can see, I've got a picture here that'll show uh, the before and after the treatment of her leg length. And when it comes to the, the physical balance, you know, I talked about this in my book, uh, about probably 85, 90% of the orthopedic physical uh, surgical procedures done today would not have to be done if the body just normalized its balance. And so what that's called, it's, it's called uh, length tension relationships. All that means is under stress, certain muscles get short and tight, and then other muscles get long and weak. And so let's just take physical balance. So if we're balancing on one leg and we really struggle with balance on this leg, and then we come over to this leg and we're rock solid, there's a reason. And one of the biggest reasons that we find is there's a lot of tightness in this musculature. So if we think about this IT band, it comes up into here, into this muscle right here. Well, when this muscle gets tight, it in, then inhibits this muscle, this upper glute muscle. When that happens, the upper glute muscle is a what's called a frontal plane stabilizer. So it's very important for uh, stabilizing you in this side-to-side -side plane. So what we'll do is we'll take a lacrosse ball and we'll have someone either do a self-massage where they can put the lacrosse ball up against the wall and do a self-massage to break down that, uh, those adhesions or those tight muscles to then get this muscle working again. And so that's a classic case of having a physical imbalance that can ultimately lead to orthopedic problems, it can lead to hip problems, it can lead to back problems, it can lead to knee problems. But another thing too is you'll just lack balance. So I want you to test yourself in balance on your right foot versus your left foot and see if there's a difference. Many times for a lot of people, because we develop all these postural imbalances, it creates some of these issues. So when it comes to the, the rest of our, we're looking at our body holistically, right? We want to make sure we got a balance between our physical body, our mental, and our spirituality. So what I want you guys to think about is if we look at uh, kind of a teeter-totter, this represents harmony or balance. And our body is designed to work best in balance. It's called homeostasis. And when we get outside of this balance, the reason we get knocked out of balance or knocked out of homeostasis is because of stress. But just remember this, a lot of times when people think of stress, they're just thinking of emotional stress. But remember our chart, and I'm gonna attach our chart, we have stressors like food stress, we have chemical stress, we have immune challenges like bacteria and viruses and parasites. Remember, all these things can knock the body out of homeostasis or out of balance. Another thing we have is scars. Scars are a big one. Remember, scars from surgical procedures, scars from an injury, that's another big one. And then of course, emotional stress can knock us out of balance. And so when it comes to balance, remember it's not just about balancing on one leg, it's about having 
muscle balance. So for instance, if I'm too tight on my front side through my chest musculature, what happens is that then inhibits the, the backside muscles rounding my shoulders and leaving me more vulnerable to shoulder problems or neck problems or headaches and things of that nature. So just remember, if you are experiencing any symptom, there is a reason. And the biggest reason is you've been knocked out of balance, knocked out of homeostasis. So it's important for you to, to work with a qualified professional who can identify what is the stressor or what is knocking your body out of balance so you can get to the root cause of the problem. So that's our uh, topic for today. Balance goes a lot deeper than just physical. Obviously it has a lot to do with our, uh, our overall holistic health. So hopefully you picked up a thing or two there. If you like the video, uh, please uh, go ahead and like it. Share it with a friend or family member you think may be able to benefit. Until I see you later, go and make it a great day. You certainly deserve it. Bye for now.